So Vegas was definitely a success, mission accomplished, but very unproductive. So it's Monday, it's time to get back to work and uh, yeah, time to catch up. Uh, at like a meaningful conversion rate or a meaningful cost or profitable cost. So I mean, sales are, are way up. It's just, it's not, it's not comparable to like the other results. And then, so they have revised the time in which they'll get our data into our test requirements. So, so about to go record a podcast with Cam. Today is kind of a tough day. So I was up until, uh, well, I was up until like 4.30 last night. I had a uh, coffee at nine. So, uh, you want anything, Noah? I'm good. All right, so anyways, kind of struggling to get through today. Definitely impatient, but <laughs> working through it. Got my Red Bull, about to go record a podcast. Uh, literally today is like jam packed. I don't know if I even had a free half hour, so. Yeah, definitely one of those days. I have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday all packed, and then we fly out to Los Angeles, so crazy week. This is how we get hyped for the podcast. And your elbow's cracked there. <laughs> Three. Cam Stern. Cam Stern for the one arm. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so before you do like a presentation or anything, you're supposed to burn some energy. One arm. One. <coughs> the one arm nap. That's, hype. What, that's what we call it. <laughs> Get hype. Get hype. Take a nap. Alright, ready? Yep. As a seller, it's a serious challenge to grow your business and increase sales while so many changes are constantly happening to Amazon's platform. Amazon is changing the way that buyers. So I'm here with Leo. Leo is our director of innovation and he lives in Toronto. So it's always a special treat when we have him here in Indy. But we brought him here, he came to visit us to work on a few things with like multiple teams. This guy is like incredible. But right now we are at a place called Need Hammers. It's a coffee shop, but also a co-working space. And so we got the leadership team together so that we can start really plotting out like what are the company values? What do we need to be focused on for the rest of 2018? Doing you know, some strategic thinking around competition. And one thing that we just haven't done a great job of is having like these company core values or principles that we kind of live and die by and making sure that we're like ingraining them in the, in the ethos and the, the thinking and the action of the, the team. And so anyways, here we're supposed to be plotting that all out how can we really dive into this and how can we make the team like really live and breathe this? So it should be a pretty interesting event. Like this is common among like bigger companies and the first time that we're doing it. So I'm really excited to see how it turns out. And it's Zon something or EMZ something. And I think that a lot of people just like, oh. Yo, what's up guys? So on my way to lunch, uh, meeting up with a local consultant on the marketing and enterprise sales side. He set up a sales division for this company here called Moby in Indy. And so just looking to see what I can learn from the experts. Like marketing is something that we're kind of struggling to find our bearings on. So definitely appreciate that expertise. So going to a local taco place with that, then coming back and I have uh, my one-on-ones with the directors for you know a couple hours. So yeah, just a really jam-packed day. Uh, see you guys on the other side. Yeah.